Pfizer is applying for full FDA approval of its COVID-19 vaccine. As Isabel Rosales reports, the hope is it'll make, peel, uh, make people feel more comfortable about getting the vaccine. As the United States sees its lowest COVID-19 case numbers and deaths in months, there's more progress on the vaccine front. Pfizer and BioNTech seeking full FDA approval of its COVID vaccine for those 16 and older. Given the nature of the pandemic, FDA will move as expeditiously as possible without compromising its gold standard for safety. Next week, the agency is expected to authorize a vaccine for emergency use for kids aged 12 to 15. As adults get vaccinated, COVID is still in the community. It's still floating around trying to find a host who is susceptible and unvaccinated children are a prime example of that. But getting some parents to vaccinate their children could prove difficult. A Kaiser Family Foundation survey found approximately 30% of respondents would vaccinate their kids right away, while almost 20% said they definitely won't. Meanwhile, reopenings across the nation are ramping up and mass mandates easing. Some in the public and health community question whether the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention is moving too slow on relaxing their mask guidelines for vaccinated people. The only way to earn public credibility is to demonstrate that you're willing to relax these provisions when the situation improves. And travel is rebounding. 72% of Americans are planning a summer trip. Domestic flights, campgrounds, and rental cars already booking up. In Washington, Isabel Rosales reporting. COVID cases are falling in Kansas and Missouri. Missouri's seven-day rolling average is down to 539 from a week ago. Kansas is reporting 467 new cases since Wednesday. In Kansas, the monthly positivity rate is down to 3.1% of COVID tests coming back positive. The Missouri rate is now down to 5%. COVID cases, though, continue to skyrocket in India. In fact, in one part of the country, the positivity rate there is now over 50% of COVID tests coming back positive. The health minister there blames it on tourists and lacks COVID restrictions. Infectious disease doctors at the University of Kansas Health System say it's important to remember the pandemic won't end just because cases are falling in the U.S. What happens in other countries affects us as well. We're talking today about our numbers and 4,000 people are dying every day in India mm -hmm. due to COVID. So I think it's, you know, um, we're going to be impacted by what's happening all over the world. And, you know, um, this will be incremental steps. I think it's not going to be like a light switch turning on and off. Williamson adds the fastest way to end the pandemic is for people all over the world and of all ages to get the vaccine.